Welcome to Journeys of Belonging to Blackness. What does it mean to belong and be able to claim to be Black or of African descent, whether you are from Tennessee or Nigeria, or to identify as Latinx, Afro-Asian, or multiracial? The sense of belonging all humans strive for depends on them feeling accepted, valued, and validated by others. For many African descendants, belonging means going on a quest for knowledge, looking toward one's roots. Belonging is a mainstay in the collective psyche of African descendants in the Americas ever since their forced and voluntary movement from Africa to new lands across the Atlantic. It is often their physical or ancestral difference that becomes a signifier as to whether or not they belong and are deserving of humanity and the full protection by their government or are to be treated as objects of nation-state inspired violence and systemic oppression. During the late 1950s and through the 1960s, architects of Pan-Africanism and Ghana's independence encouraged scores of African descendants from across the globe to participate in President Kwame Nkrumah's movement to build a Black nation on the pillars of freedom and democracy in Ghana. Fast forward to today, along with the United Nations International Decade for People of African Descent, African leaders such as Ghana's current president, Nana Akufu Adu, and and others from Nigeria and Benin continue with the call of belonging by marking 2019 as a year of return. In fact, hundreds of African descendants, including African-American and Afro-Caribbean celebrities and government officials, have been sworn in as citizens or awarded honorary citizenship in these African countries. According to the Ministry of Tourism, these countries have not only experienced approximately 1.5 million tourists visiting places such as slave castles in Accra and the Door of No Return, but also the Afrochella New Year's Festival in 2020. From Afrochella, these African countries experience an economic boom in the amount of $1.9 billion in one year alone. From this data, we can make two easy observations. First, within a Western capitalist framework, African descendants hold a lot of economic power and when harnessed can invest in, own, support, and effectuate a lot of good in communities worldwide, not only as consumers, but also as owners and producers. Second, African descendants are very curious and committed to learning all there is about their roots. For many, this curiosity is less about essentializing and idealizing Africa as the lost sense of self, but more about the politics of solidarity, the politics of memory, and about becoming active global citizens. As author and Pan-Africanist C.L.R. James once wrote, to know where the Negro is going, one must know where the Negro comes from. As your guide, I too will share my journey of belonging to Blackness. Here, I decided to start my journey with my parents. I I am proud that you decided to take this project on. Um, I think it's important for a lot of people to get a sense of understanding of who they are and where they came from. as well as uh, for medical reasons, for um, for knowledge of family and self, it's, it's, it is a very important issue. I know DNA testing um, gives you insight uh, regarding your health, regarding different traits, um, regarding your ancestry, and we can go back maybe over 50 generations. Um, exactly where and when uh, they they come from. I'm also a little bit skeptical. The reason why, um, because companies can, um, they cannot provide guarantee privacy because sometimes um, they can sell um, your data to outside parties. I remember looking at uh, HBO movie regarding this cell lines of Henrietta Lack. And that was very um, scary to find out that how my DNA can be sold to a private company. But overall, I would like to find out about 
my ancestors. I recognize that there are so many folks that are out there that have a limited amount of knowledge around their family genealogy and that they oftentimes look to DNA and ancestry tests. And I've asked both of you to participate in one of the companies, uh, Ancestry.com. So what do you think the results will say about you when you guys do it? Do you guys have any predictions about your family ancestry, about your racial and ethnic geographical makeup? Well, with me, I had some, um, I have some idea um, regarding my um, grandparents because they spoke about, um, for instance, my mom's side uh, from Europe. My um, dad's side is from Africa, uh, a place um, in Africa called Chad. So, um, and also being around them, you realize the, all the big trunks uh, that they have traveled with, and they traveled into Haiti, from Haiti into Grenada with a priest. Is there a particular percentage or predictions that you all may have about what your DNA ancestry results will yield? I, I would predict. 60% African. Well, I know the history of, um, of my relatives and my family up through my grandparents. Um, so my grandfather came from Portugal. Uh, my grandmother's from the Ivory Coast of, in, of Africa. And um, so my mother is biracial and my father have some um, um, racial mixtures on his side. So I'm... I'm thinking that I'm probably about 60 to 70 percent of African uh, bloodline. I know I asked specifically about African ancestry, but oftentimes we also don't know the makeup of our other ancestors that contribute to our genealogy too. My grandparents um, through my on my mother's side, I would say from places like uh, England, it could be Portugal, it could be um, any of those uh, European countries. From Euro Just because they may have come from Europe doesn't mean that they're a hundred percent of anything themselves. So all of that plays a part in, in our DNA. Like, do you think that if, let's say, your predictions are off, that you'll think of yourself any less black, more black, the same kind of black you were? <laughs> I'm I'm formed already for the for the person that I I am. My you know I am very proud. I'm a very proud black man. So I'm I'm happy with myself. It's not going to make any difference. It's also about a state of mind and philosophy. So I think I'm 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 set in my ways at this point. After reviewing my. Uh, results of the test, I realized that uh, I was pretty close to to what I thought. I didn't I didn't know about the one percent uh, Native American. So, but I am fifty nine percent black, one percent Native American, and forty percent Caucasian, which I I sort of uh, knew that much um, before taking the test based on uh, my grandparents and my father's uh, side of the family. I thought, well, I was thinking Portugal, but not realize, not thinking about German and Sweden and, and, and these countries. So, you know, I was kind of surprised how the mix got in there. But you also have to, you know, historically, um, uh, there was a lot of travel um, across Europe. People were migrating to different countries for different reasons. So. I could understand that where the mix came from. Once I, I received the DNA um, uh, result, I was happy um, to find out all the different um, African places that I have um, ancestors because I thought it, it was more European than African. And the reason why is because uh, my mom uh, features her light eyes, my um, grandmother.
grandmother with her blue eyes, my grandfather also with light blue eyes, uh, was very, very surprised. Eighty so percent African, um, and then you have um, Portugal, Italy, but the majority of the percentage is um, African. The Congo. All those different um, parts in, in Africa, even Nigeria, Senegal, and less in the European um, countries. Uh, Has it changed the way you see yourself, how you think other people will see you? I know uh, I'm black. They will see me as a black person. I love being a black person. I identify being black. So now that I know my results, I think it, it it would behoove me to do some research on the, um, the countries that my ancestors came from, just to understand a little bit about the culture um, and to put things in perspective for me with that. Um, in terms of um, traveling to these places, some of the places where my ancestors came from, I've already visited them prior to, to doing any DNA testing over the years, just because I, I do like to, to travel and, and, and enjoy different cultures. But I would definitely like to explore my African heritage. I would like to go to Portugal. I would like to go to um, Chad, although it was not mentioned in the DNA. But um, speaking to one of my uh, my aunt, going to Chad, because I know for sure he came from Chad. And um, I'm looking forward um, to get the full um, history. And even though we may have knowledge of our grandparents and so on, but we don't know, we didn't know prior to taking um, the test where they came from and who their ancestry is, you know, what their ancestry is. Rather. So I think it, it's, it's, um, it, it, it's come to, to a good place so far and let's see where we can go from this place. Direct-to-consumer testing can be completed at home by collecting your own DNA sample and sending it off to a company to provide you information about your ancestry, kinship, lifestyle factors, and potential disease risk. In the genome, there are molecular instructions that are necessary for you to grow throughout your lifetime. It consists of DNA. Half of your genome comes from your biological female parent and the other half comes from your biological male parent. This makes you related to each person, but genetically identical to neither. In the genome, mitochondrial DNA, which provides a unique record of a male or female's maternal heritage. Scientists can use mitochondrial DNA to construct mother-daughter genealogical trees, and the Y chromosomes indicate male-to-male genealogical relation. In fact, males pass on the exact copies of their Y chromosomes to their sons. My journey engaged in this project means recognizing that we all belong to a set of histories that are preserved not only in the recess of our own minds, bodies, and spirit, but also down to the cellular level and very much who we are today and how we live in and celebrate blackness resides in the worlds of the past and present. DNA genealogy reveals an entanglement of genealogies that could disguise greater historical, social, and political complexities beyond our wildest dreams. For me, this journey will take me to Columbia, South Carolina, Grenada, and Trinidad, and eventually to Chad. Stay tuned.